Hey guys, Ronald here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this electric fan that's not turning. Let's plug it and then I will turn it on. It's not working. But if you turn it and push the blade, it's going to run. So, it's highly probable that it is being caused by a weak capacitor. And also, to check if your electric fan motor is okay, what you're going to do is get a multi-tester, put the two probes, on the power line connection of the plug then set your multi-tester to X1K there it is an X1K watch the needle if it moves after turning it on that means your motor is still working did you see? Did you see the needle move? So it means your motor is still working. So let's change the capacitor. Okay, this is the Okay, this is the capacitor that you are going to replace. The switch plastic broke off this one into this one. I will fix it first with some epoxy. Okay, this is how I'm going to remove the capacitor. By the way, it's rated 1.5 microfarad. So we will also change it with that same value of microfarad. Ok, 
okay Okay, we will just let it dry for maybe two hours. By the way, this capacitor that I have removed from the electric fan will show to you how to test it if it is still okay or it's already weak. We are going to use this analog multi-tester and we are going to set it to X1K. Okay, that's the perfect setting. So if you're going to test it, you should put the probe alternately and see if it's going to kick. This is 1.5 microfarad, so the reading should be here. This is 1 microfarad, this is 2, this is 3, 4 microfarad. So the reading should be here. The needle should reach more or less on this area. Okay, let's test it. There's no movement. Very little movement. So this capacitor is almost dead. There's very little movement in it. Okay, so let's check this time this brand new capacitor. It's 1.5 microfarad. I hope you can see it. Okay. With the multimeter uh, at the X1K mark. You should expect this reading or the needle to hit this mark. 1.5 microfarad more or less. Okay, let's test it. Let's put it alternately. Okay, it kicked in. Okay, so that's how you test a capacitor. Okay, the epoxy has dried up. Underneath. And on top of that switch. And also on this part. I can switch it by my bare hands. Now the problem is the capacitor's original location here is that the wires these two yellow wires has become too short to be crimped 
So I will abandon this original capacitor location and move the capacitor here and pull out these two yellow wires. So it becomes much easier to connect it. Okay, that's the idea now. Let's take out this yellow wire. And also this one. Now we will put the capacitor in here. Okay. Let's try it first without crimping it down. Let's test it first. Let's plug it. Okay. You have to check the direction of the fan to see if it if the air is moving moving forward or if it's sucking. So the we didn't we did not install the we did not crimp the yellow wires permanently yet because you will have to see how the airflow is going to run. Okay. Let's put the blade. How to check how the the airflow is going to run. If it's going to suck air. Okay, the air is flowing forward, so it means that the connection is okay, those connection is okay. The air is flowing forward. So let's now crimp it permanently. So that's the reason why I didn't crimp it immediately because I want to be sure that I would be doing the that the airflow is going to flow in the right in the right direction.
you don't have to overdo it because it's going to it's going straight to the, to the shaft it's going to be hard for the shaft to turn so don't overdo it if in case you overdo it see it's not moving you have to unscrew it a little then it becomes easier for the motor to move I added extra screws here, here, here because I want it to be stable but you don't have to follow it I just did it for myself By the way, this is not the original blade. I'm just using this blade from other electric fan. Okay, that's it. That's how to install a brand new capacitor and how to change, check if your capacitor is already very weak or it's totally dead. So I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you next time on our next video. Bye!